Welcome to the Orange Power Podcast. Casey Kendrick along with the head coach for the Oklahoma State Cowgirls, Coach J.C. Hoyt. And Coach, we have come to the end of the regular season. And it is, you know, I know it, it, we talk about this a lot even throughout the course of the season. But in some ways it seems like yesterday. And in some days it seems like forever ago. Yeah, um, it just seems like yesterday to mm -hmm. me. It's it's flown by. Um, I can't believe that we're in March. And, um, you know, it's it's a, a unique time of the year because we have so much to be proud of, but mm -hmm. also still so much unfinished business ahead of us. Well, and, and I want to talk about both of those things. But before we do, Coach, you're not even on your one-year anniversary date mm -hmm. of having been hired at Oklahoma State. And, you know, so much has happened. And that's the crazy thing. I have a feeling the, the last 12 months, because you hit the ground running, there's so much to be done that in some ways it's been a blur. It has. Um, it's been a whirlwind, um, not just professionally, but personally, you know, mm -hmm. just so much change comes from moving and um, just just all of it. Um, but I just keep coming back to how grateful I am and um, just God has just blessed me with amazing people and um, this team and just ev everything about it has been just such a joy. So let's talk about the season. Coach, you guys finished the fourth seed. Uh, you finished, you know, with the, the, a terrific record in Big 12. You get your 20 wins in the regular season, which is always a landmark everybody's shooting for. I mean, this, this again, headed to Big 12, much ahead. But if we stop and look at it where we are right now, it's been a heck of a year. It's been a great year. It's been a year that, um, you know, I think far exceeded anyone's expectations outside of our own team. And, and you know, I'm always going to have a really, really high standard and probably never going to be satisfied. Um, but I am very, very proud of the foundation that we've laid. Um, you know, I, I put a tweet out about this yesterday, but I'm not just proud of what we accomplished on the floor. I am so proud of the fan base that we've built. Um, you know, our, our senior day, um, you know, we, we just said, uh, had the, the fourth highest attendance, um, get, attended game in cowgirl basketball. And I mean, that is just, that, that's lasting, you know, and that's something that I'm really, really proud of amongst the many other things. Well, and again, so that's what you get to build on, you know, those, those seniors and, and there was a lot of them. Um, that's part of their foundation. I mean, obviously Cass has been here from, from day one for her whole time. Those others came in and put immediate impact. But the foundation of the bricks that were laid this year by those young ladies, truly amazing. It is amazing. Um, and it's not just what they did, it's how they did it. You know, you and I have talked about just the character that they have and just kind of the way that they've captured people's hearts. Um, they've captured my heart. Um, just, just a really special group. Um, you know, I, I couldn't be more proud of them and um, just the character that they've brought, the leadership that they have brought. And I think that as long as we have that, you know, I, I feel really good about our future. Well, and let's talk about the immediate future, Coach. Now going back to a city that you're quite familiar with. I can't wait. Um, I, I love Kansas City. It's just got such a special place in my heart, um, not just because I lived there, but um, just I think it's an awesome city um, for sports. It's mm -hmm. just a city that rallies around, you know, whether that's the, the Chiefs, the Chiefs, right? Um, the Royals, um, you know, so they've got a, a professional women's soccer team there. I mean, it's just, um, they love sports. And I think that uh, we couldn't have a better spot for the Big 12 tournament where people are gonna come out and they're gonna wanna support. You know, this thing has been, in my years, it's been in Oklahoma City, it's been in Dallas a couple of times, and but there's just something special about the Big 12 tournament, men's and women's, both being in Kansas City. It's, it's a great place. So let's talk about the matchup. You've got West Virginia, um, a team that obviously you played very recently, a team that you know has been in a little bit of desperation mode. They're net, they need some help. Uh, it, it, they're gonna play with that same kind of urgency. And I know your team trying to regain momentum going into the NCAA tournament. So this ought to be a battle of two teams that have that, that real sense of it's time to go. Absolutely. You know, um, every coach across America today is going to be saying, okay, you know, it's 0-0, new season. Um, <clears throat> and we certainly will do that. But we do. We need to get some momentum. And um, it's, we've got a big week um, to do that for us, um, not just momentum um, within ourselves, but momentum that we want to get out of this tournament to go into the NCAA tournament. Um, West Virginia is a, a hungry team, like you said. Um, they're playing really well right now. 
And um, I think probably mentally they're in a little bit of a different place than we are, but um, you know, all that can go out the window in the first five minutes of the game. Absolutely. And you know, this is a, it's intriguing because people always talk about what can the tournaments do? What can conference tournaments do for you? Some people think that, you know, this, the, the status is pretty much set. Some think that, no, it's, it, it's really important. What about you? As you go into this and you think about right now, whether Charlie Cream is right or not, you're on the eight line. Um, is this a tournament that could move you to seven? Do you guys think of it in those kinds of terms? And is it is the renewing of us versus us really in effect right now? Yeah, it is. I think that, um, you know, I don't know that you can necessarily hurt yourself in the position that we're in, um, but I do think you can help yourself. And I do think, you know, if you go make a run um, and do so in a, you know, a statement type of way that, you know, we do have a chance to move up um, in that big bracket. But I think more importantly, it's about momentum. And mm -hmm. you don't want to go into the NCAA tournament, you know, not feeling well about how you're playing or, or your team. Um, and so that's really the thing that I'm most interested that I think carries on into the NCAA tournament. Looking at it from, you know, first, again, focused on Big 12, and I get that, then the NCAA, but how much do you appear at the eight line, taking on Georgia, at Stanford? You think about those things, and you already got your mind, you know, going, okay, if we've got to prepare, how are we going to prepare? How, how have you kind of approached that? You know, I'd, of course I look at it. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if coaches don't. Um, but I think that one of my biggest strengths is just an ability to give our team a vision and a plan. Um, and so I do feel like it's important to look at that. And um, sometimes I, I share things with them and sometimes I choose not to, but I do think it's important to know, you know, kind of what's lying ahead so that you can best prepare um, your team and, um, you know, just lay out kind of the vision of, okay, this is what it's gonna look like and this is what we need to do. Um, I think that, you know, that creates followership. And um, I think that that's something that we've really been able to do all year long, you know, breaking down our seasons. And um, now with this being our third season, as I call it, our postseason, um, I think that that is important. And it's gonna be a fun matchup. Obviously excited about this and looking for a deep run. 11 o'clock on Friday morning in Kansas City Municipal Auditorium. Real quickly, you know, that's another thing. Municipal is, um, you know, it, it probably could use a little bit of a facelift, but the the nostalgia and the, the amount of people that have performed there and the games that have been played there, it is a special venue. It is. I, I got the opportunity to play there one other time uh, when I was coaching in Kansas City and uh, we played against Kansas State actually but um, it's it's just a neat place and you're right I mean if you care anything about the game of basketball and its history um, you're gonna feel excited and blessed to get to play in that venue no doubt again 11 o'clock Friday morning take it on West Virginia all right last question so um, when you go to Kansas City do you go to like I mean you got some spots that maybe other people <laughs> wouldn't have any clue about I don't know if no, not that not that other people don't have a clue about, but I know I want to hit Jack Stack. I need that. <laughs> uh, there's a place called True Food that I used to eat every single day on the plaza. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get. So that. I need to, I need to get that list and yeah. uh, when I make a few runs, Coach. Best of luck as always. Congratulations on a, a terrific run to this point, and let's go uh, let's go get a deep run in the Big Twelve. Let's do it. Thank All you. All right, that's going to do it for us. For Coach J.C. Hoyt, I'm Casey Kendrick. We'll see you next time on the Orange Power Podcast.